yourself ready for an election takes some research, and many of us just head to the internet to do a quick search to learn more about it. Yeah, but when it comes to the Fayetteville Civil Rights Ordinance, it might not be that easy. 4029's Emily Maha is live now to explain why it's new at nine. Daniel, you want to learn more about the civil rights law before you head to the polls. So, you go to one side's website, repeal119.com. They want to get rid of the law. You take a look around and then head over to the other side, Keep Fayetteville Fair. They want to keep the law. So, you go to keepfayettevillefair.com. That makes sense, but you're taken back to a different site, the site for Repeal 119. A little deceptive. But it's legal. There's no law that stops anyone from buying a website address. They uh, purchased the site or the rights to the sites before the uh, Keep Fable Fair group did. I spoke with Duncan Campbell. He works with Repeal 119. I asked him why the group chose to buy a website with their opposition's name. He said in his statement, We want the people who are searching to know the truth. I asked if Campbell thought buying that website could be seen as deceptive. He said this, no, just strategic. Mike Emery is a voter, and while he supports the civil rights ordinance, he landed himself on Repeal 119's website by accident. It surprised me a little bit. If you're not paying attention, when you do it, you could be easily mistaken or deceived on what you're actually looking at. And I asked Duncan Campbell, who works with Repeal 119, if he'd like to sit down and talk to us about the website and the decision to buy the opposition's website name. He hasn't gotten back to me tonight. Live in Fayetteville, Emily Maha, 4029 News. All right, thank you.